Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about some beekeeping tools. Um, if you look through the catalogs uh, as a new beekeeper, uh, it'll make you dizzy. There's so many items out there. Some of them are good, some of them not so much. Basically, we want to talk to you about what you really need to have and what we take to the bee yard when we're working our colonies. We run around 100 colonies and we have a select few items that we take every visit and it's not very much at all. It's probably going to blow your mind what limited stuff we do take to a bee yard. As you can see, it, it can be cumbersome to carry all this stuff. Um, I've seen new beekeepers wore out from um, carrying their, their toolbox that they think they need to have. And hopefully this video will give you an idea. Of, you, you don't have to have all that stuff to work a colony of bees. First item we like to have is some protective clothing, a veil at the minimum. Um, this is a Kelly veil. It's pretty good. We like it. Um, works out real good for us. Some gloves for the days the bees are particularly irritable come in real handy. I don't like getting my hands stung up because these things hurt. Nine times out of ten you'll see us wearing a half suit like this one in front of you. This one's a ventilated model. It's an ultra breeze. Uh, it's done real well for us. Keeps us a little cooler. It's still hot. Don't think it's going to be cool. Uh, but they're kind of pricey. Uh, but we get a a lot of use out of one so we recommend the ultra breeze if you can afford it next on the list is a good smoker you're gonna to have to have a good smoker if you're working bees I recommend the day dance smoker I think it's the best smoker on the market um, I've got one that's at least 20 years old uh, it's actually a Kelly smoker but they that made it as well uh, I really like data metal smokers they're, they're great and we use the jumbo smoker. I think it's a 4x10 model. They also make a 4x7 if you've got a few colonies you need to work. But definitely don't skimp out on your smoker. That would be my biggest you know, area that I would spend my money on tool-wise to, to make my life easier. So definitely get you a good smoker. Next item on the list is a hive tool. Several different models available. This hive tool was a Walter Kelly hive tool that I bought. 25 some odd years ago. I still have it. It's well used. I don't know if you can see, but I mean, it's it's been used a lot. I don't carry it anymore because I don't want to lose it because I have had it so long. And I recently switched over. I believe it's a Man Lake version of the same hive tool, and quality is just as good. Um, this one just looks newer. So get you a good hive tool. It doesn't matter what kind of hive tool you get, in my opinion. We we even like these little hive tools because we can always have them in our pocket. Um, you can get this little hive tool on Amazon. I'm not sure who actually makes it, but it, it, it comes in handy. And another great item to have with your hive tool is get a magnet, a rare earth magnet to keep in your pocket. That way, whenever I throw my hive tool in my pocket, it's there. It's not tearing holes in your pocket. It just sticks right there. Whenever you need it, you just pull it off and you've got it. Can't speak enough of having a magnet. It works great. Besides that, we like to carry a roll of white duct tape with us and some Sharpies, magic markers. That way we can make notes on top of the colonies, write it down, put it on the lid, and we've got it. We know what we need whenever we come back. I like to carry a Leatherman tool. This one's the Leatherman Wave. Uh, you can get them on Amazon about anywhere. Um, the reason I like this tool is because I can cut wire with it. If my smoker bell and nuts come loose, I can tighten those as well. Um, it's got a screwdriver. It, it just really comes in handy whenever you, you need a tool. Our pump, we, we have a, a fructose pump on our truck. Sometimes you need to tighten a nut down with it. Um, so that, that works out real well for us. It's real lightweight. I also like to carry a good pocket knife with us. Um, other than this, I, I use this for the tool function and I like to have a dedicated knife. Um, it doesn't matter what knife you carry. I do like an automatic knife. I know some of you may not be able to have an automatic knife in your uh, locality or your, wherever you live, but it works out real well with your, if you're wearing gloves. You can hit the button, you're open, you're ready to go. So I like that. And the last item that I really recommend carrying with you to a bee yard is a bee brush. Very seldom use our bee brush, but when you need it, it's there. 
and it comes in real handy. Um, so that, that's basically it on the tool items. Um, take plenty of water, but you see this, this toolbox is loaded down. People carry hammers, staplers, you know, feeders in here. I, I've seen it all. And it's just carrying a bunch of weight for nothing. A hive tool, a smoker, a knife, a bee brush, some tape, and something to write with is really all you need. Um, don't, don't go look through these catalogs and think you have to have one of everything. I did that. I've done it when I first started beekeeping. I thought I needed one or two of each thing in the catalog, and I bought a lot and wasted a lot of money. Because what you see in front of you now, this is what I take to a bee yard to work 100 colonies. You know, so you don't have to have everything. You get the basics and then experiment and see what other people have that you may like to try. Try and see if it works out for you. You can spend a lot of money beekeeping. You know, I, I think here. The most expensive item on the table is going to be the knife, and you can get a $5 knife. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, you can get a cheap multi-tool. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be a lead. It can be a no-name multi-tool. Uh, a high tool is, what, 5 bucks. A bee brush is maybe less than 10 bucks. You know, your tape, the most expensive item really that you need to, I recommend is the data smoker. You don't have to have a datant, but if you don't want to be replacing it and you want it to work, I highly recommend datant smokers for the long haul. If you like this video, how about giving us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. We appreciate you watching. Have a good day.